troubleshooting your heating system. Now your heating system involves a lot more than just your furnace. Your heating system requires power, it requires gas, or if you have an electric furnace, it may require electricity. It requires, on a gas furnace, your exhaust pipe. You got a pipe that comes up, and this is 90% of a furnace, so it goes up and out the side of your house. Where if you have an 80% efficient furnace, then you go through a metal pipe that goes through a chimney and up the top of your roof. Now, this furnace is equipped with a central air system hooked to it. So, once again, there's one more component to your, your heating system and cooling system that you're going to have to look forward to and you might have to troubleshoot. On your coil of your air conditioner that sits on top of your furnace, there's also a drain that comes off of this. Now, as your central air system runs, it's going to sweat and water has to drain. So, one thing you may have to look at too is your drains. Make sure your drains are free and clear of debris. Make sure they're draining fluently. Your furnace also, when it's heating, has a chance of sweating from difference in temperature. So you got a drain for your furnace also, which is on the side of this furnace you may not be able to see. But everything's got to be free and clear of debris. So you make sure that's all working properly. And I'll go back to the to the vent system on this furnace. This one runs off a two inch PVC pipe that goes up and out the side of your house. Now, you may run into a problem if you live in the Midwest like I do. Snow drifts, rodents get inside your pipes and plug it off. This is gonna stop your furnace from running. Gas supply, you gotta make sure you have significant gas pressure to your furnace or it will not run. Just as, just as much if you had an electric furnace, if you don't have enough electrical power from your fuse box to your furnace, it also won't run. Now, your last aspect of your furnace pretty much goes up to your thermostat. Now, you're only running like a 22 gauge wire up to your thermostat. There's a chance that maybe that could get pinched or broken also. So that's another thing you may have to troubleshoot. There's so many different areas in your furnace thinking about troubleshooting. Most of them you can tell through your diagnostic through the front of your furnace, which gives you a blinking light, allows you to understand what's wrong with it. You can read the back of your panel, and it's going to give you a pretty good overview about what's wrong with your furnace.